Hey, Putty, I'm in kind of a hyper mood tonight. I think I might go and see that Ad Astra movie. Yeah, this sounds like fun, a night at the movies. Actually, let me just have a look what people have been saying about this thing, because uh, I haven't really heard much about it. There were a few aspects that stood out to me that I guess it hindered the film a bit. And I think that the slow, drawn out nature of the movie is what hurt it probably the most in my eyes. I mean, it's a little over two hours, but it feels like it's probably four hours. The last 30 minutes completely crumbled everything else for me. This movie is a slow burn. Do not mistake Ad Astra for a fun sci-fi adventure. It is not that type of film. Slow burn in terms of pacing and Brad Pitt having two pages of dialogue. After seeing this film, I immediately tweeted- Oh, shut the fuck up, Grace Randolph. Some will find this to be a slow moving, boring movie. Uh, maybe it doesn't sound like the kind of movie I want to see tonight. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. Hey, how's it going everybody and welcome to another Blu-ray slash DVD update which is going to be a really big one this time because the last couple of months uh, I've just gone on a rampage of buying movies and TV shows and right now I've got like four piles here in front of me and I know ordinarily I do these at the end of each month but uh, yeah I don't think there's going to be anything else I'll be buying for the rest of this month and yeah to be honest I've just got to get through all of these because because there's a lot. Uh, oh, where to start? Hmm. All right, I'm gonna start with the Blu-ray movies, uh, just because I felt like it, so don't judge me. Um, yeah, first one, uh, now, so this was a movie that in my last Blu-ray update, uh, I was talking about how there was one particular movie that I'd been holding off doing the update because I was waiting for it to arrive, and it never did, uh, so I went ahead and did that. But anyway, it finally arrived, and that is, of course, Captain Marvel, the 3D version with, like, a really cool slip cover, which you can see looks really cool. I know originally when I saw this movie I gave it a really bad review uh, mainly because when I saw it I had the flu and my brain just wasn't thinking properly and yeah watching it again and particularly in 3D the 3D was really good um, yeah I don't know I didn't find it anywhere near as bad as the first time so I actually did an updated review on my channel because I didn't like the fact that I only gave it a 3 out of 10 back in the day that was that was a bit harsh. And speaking of Marvel movies I also recently found Finally got Avengers Endgame, the again 3D version with a really cool cover. I'm getting my 3D uh, Marvel movies from a website called Zavi, Z-A-V-V-I. Um, and even though it takes a little longer for these movies to get out here because Disney stopped distrib- distrib- Wow! Distributing 3D movies in Australia. Uh, yeah, which really sucks for us 3D collectors. So I've been getting them from this Zavi site and yeah, they got these like really cool slip covers and stuff. So, um, yeah, very happy. And speaking of good movies, naturally I got Brightburn on the day that it came out, uh, because I freaking love this movie so much. It was one of those movies that, despite its flaws, which, yeah, it did have a few, um, it was just such a great movie, such a really awesome concept, and, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, it loves me anything to do with James Gunn. Uh, this one seems like a bit of an odd one, but uh, I got Despicable Me 2, the 3D version, because uh, going through my movies, I realized that I had Despicable Me one and three in 3D, but number two was just a ordinary Blu-ray. Uh, and my cat's a really big fan, apparently. You love this movie, do you? Do you want to come and say hi? All right, everybody, this is my cat who uh, may or may not join me, join me for this. No, you must sit on my lap. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, anyway, Despicable Me too. 3D. Uh, next one up, and I really, really love this one. Uh, this is the Napoleon Dynamite uh, 10th Anniversary Edition, which, um, yeah, has really cool sort of felt tiger stripes on the front. 
Uh, I had this movie on DVD, but it was a Region 1 disc, and I sometimes have a bit of problems playing Region 1 discs, so uh, yeah, I managed to get this, which, even though it was from the US, it was a Region 3 Blu-ray, so uh, yeah, I was really happy to finally have this movie on Blu-ray, because it is in my top 10 most favorite movies of all time. All right, so the next one up, okay, so uh, yeah, recently I sort of went on a binge of getting animated DC stuff, like, a lot. Uh, and anyway, one of the movies I picked up was Justice League War, which uh, I had never actually seen before. And uh, yeah, it's actually kind of crap. I didn't really like this movie all that much. I don't know, it was just a very bland origin movie of how the Justice League came about. And yeah, I know, it was entirely forgettable. Uh, but I also picked up Justice League Dark, which uh, I have seen before and I was a really big fan of. It, <laughs> it lived up to its name. This was a really dark movie. Uh, yeah, I really dug it. So um, I now own it. And another movie which I had never seen before uh, was Squab. Suicide Squad, Hell to Pay. Uh, which I actually really enjoyed. This was a great movie. Really good story. Uh, loved the way that they did the characters and everything. Um, yeah, it was a solid flick. Uh, I also picked up a movie that, ah, oh, man, this is one of those movies that, even though it is crap, it's just so dear to my heart. And that is, of course, Flash Gordon, uh, a movie that as a child i remember seeing this movie and like when it first came out uh, actually i got a feeling i saw it at the cinema but yeah i really love that movie and uh yeah like i said it's it 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 owns its cheesiness you know it's the kind of movie that it doesn't take itself at all seriously and uh yeah and it looked really good on blu-ray as well so uh i was very happy to get that one uh next up oh i went on a bit of a disney 3d movie spree. Uh, one of them being The Little Mermaid in 3D, the original uh, version of course, but yeah, to be honest, the 3D wasn't that great. This is one of those movies that didn't translate all that well to 3D. Um, yeah, I don't know. It didn't have a lot of depth or anything, which is sort of a pun because, you know, it's in the, in the ocean. Ah, uh, but one of the other ones that I got was Moana, which, uh, yeah, I love that movie and it looks amazing in 3D because it's computer animated so that always translates a lot better to 3d and uh yeah this movie was really good i still love it i i yeah i don't really know what else to say about it it's it's really good uh, and the other one i got was beauty and the beast in 3d the original cartoon beauty and the beast uh which is still in its shrink wrap i haven't opened it yet so uh I cannot comment on whether or not the 3D is any good. Um, I also picked up Goodwill Hunting because that was a movie that I had on DVD. Um, but I yeah recently went through and I rearranged a lot of stuff in this room because I actually ran out of room for Blu-rays. I had them in piles on the floor. So I had to invest in a new you know, couple of shelves. And so I moved all my DVDs down so my Blu-rays could come across. And in the process, uh, yeah, I was sort of going through and uh, figuring out which DVDs I want to upgrade to Blu-ray and yeah this was one of them and it was cheap it was like buy two movies get one free um, so yeah I got that uh, I also got The Great Escape this was one of those movies that after seeing Once Upon a Time in Hollywood which uh, yeah if you've seen that movie you understand why I had to get this um, but another reason was because I've never actually seen this movie this is one of these like major classic films that I've just never gotten around to seeing. So, um, yeah, I'm very looking forward to checking that out. So, yeah. Ah, uh, and another movie that I upgraded from DVD to Blu-ray, although I am keeping the DVD because it has a absolute crap ton of extra features on it, even though it's a Region 1 disc. But uh, I got more rats because, um, yeah, I don't know. I thought it was a really cool Kevin Smith film, like, for, you know, back in, at the time when it came out. Um, yeah, you know, it's not, like, his greatest film by any means, but, yeah, it's still a fun watch. Uh, and the last one in this pile uh, was one of the buy two, get one free ones. I got Black Klansman because, uh, yeah, that was a really good film. I remember giving that a very good review and and uh, thought to myself, one day I will own that film, but I didn't want to get it the day that it came out. I didn't think it was quite worth, you know, spending full price on. So, uh, yeah, 
there you go. All right, next pile, uh, let's do this one. Uh, okay, let's start with the three Beavis and Butthead box sets, um, which, yeah, again, I did have them. A friend of mine bought them for me years ago, but yeah, they were region one discs. And yeah, I've, again, I just sometimes have problems playing those. So I thought, yeah, maybe I'll get the Australian ones. So that was all well and good, except this is really messing with my OCD because uh, one and three are like the same kind of boxes, but then we got number two, which is like a different kind of box. It's, you know, sort of a standard DVD cover in a slip case. Um, so yeah, that kind of hurts my brain just a little bit, but yeah, at least I can play the discs a lot easier now. And <laughs> well, this was a really big one. Okay, so when I was shuffling everything around, I noticed with my South Park collection, um, on DVD, I had them up to season 11, and then on Blu-ray, where are they? Uh, yeah, Blu-ray, I've got season 12 and 13, and that's where I got up to. Um, I, yeah, kind of went ahead and uh, have borrowed the seasons off the internet, but it was always one of those things I did mean to, you know, complete the collection eventually. Uh, so funny thing, I thought to myself, okay, so obviously up to season 13, well, you know, 12 and 13 were on Blu-ray, so I looked into getting the remaining seasons on Blu-ray, and it turns out they stopped making them on Blu-ray after those ones. Well, at least they did here in Australia, which really doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, but then again, it's not the sort of show that you need to see on Blu-ray. So anyway, uh, yeah, in one big hit, I went ahead and I got seasons 14 through to 22. Yeah, on DVD. Um, yeah, which actually wasn't too bad. This uh, big box set of seasons 16 to 20 was actually a lot cheaper than buying them individually. And yeah, the, they decided to give me a staff discount at the time, which um, I don't know why, because I don't work at JB Hi-Fi, but yeah, thanks guys. Um, what will I do next? All right, I'm going to do this pile. So uh, yeah, the first one. So um, recently I was talking to some people on Twitter and two of my most favorite DC Comics characters are Plastic Man and Zatanna. This chick right here, she's a magician and I love her. And I did some looking into it because I've always thought those two, like, those two characters would just make such entertaining movies, like having their own standalone films. But in my research, Research, I discovered something that I never knew before. There's a Plastic Man TV series. Uh, I think this was from, I can't remember what year it was, but uh, it was quite a few years ago, like 70s or 80s or something. And yeah, I got really excited because I'm a huge Plastic Man fan. And so I got this DVD collection, which has got like tons of discs in it and stuff. And yeah, I've, I've watched two episodes and Wow, it's actually kind of crap. Like seriously, yeah, it's, um, I don't know, this show, it was designed for kids, like it's really kiddie-ish. And not only that, they just start the show off with Plastic Man, there he is, boom. Uh, they don't go into any detail as to who his character is and how he got his powers or anything like that. There's no origin story. I don't know if there's like a later episode that maybe has it. Um, eventually, I will watch more because there's, what, 35 episodes? <laughs> Gee. Ah, uh, but yeah, I don't know. Just, yeah, could have been a lot better. Uh, and then, yeah, there was a special on at JB Hi-Fi where they had certain TV shows that were uh, buy one, get one free. And so I actually got uh, all the Justice League seasons. Urgh, these ones. I got, um, yeah, just your normal Justice League, the two volumes of that, and Justice League Unlimited, the two volumes of that. Uh, because, yeah, I've seen a lot of episodes of this show, but I've never seen all of them, I don't think. So, um, yeah, I thought that was probably worth getting. And while I was there buying all of those, I picked up this random DVD called Justice League Action. And... Uh, the only reason I got that was because I had read somewhere there was a lot of Plastic Man and Zatanna episodes in there, and I thought, okay, that's even got Plastic Man on the front cover. So, yeah, I thought, eh, I'll check it out. This is one of the greatest superhero TV shows I have ever seen. This show is freaking brilliant. Um, I'm going to do a standalone review of this thing because there's a lot that I want to say about it, but every episode, each episode is like 10 minutes long. Like, they're really quick. Uh, 
And so, yeah, they're just like easy to watch. You know, if you just got 10 minutes to kill or whatever, pop on an episode. Um, and it all sort of felt like the Batman animated series from back in the 90s and, you know, Superman, Justice League, all those shows that came from it. Uh, the animation, like the artwork and everything, I thought was really top notch. The stories were amazing. This was one of those shows that it was kind of aimed towards kids, but it's the sort of thing that adults can really appreciate as well. There was a lot of sort of grown up jokes snuck in there. And the humor was really good every episode had a lot of humor in it but it didn't feel out of place like it would the tone of the whole thing was just perfect and there was some really amazing nods to other like batman franchises and stuff uh, and superman and stuff like um yeah from the movies to the tv shows like yeah, there was tons of references to a lot of previous uh incarnations of the characters unfortunately the only thing with this is there is 26 episodes on this one and and there were 52 episodes made and yeah we never actually got a release of the second half of this over here so yeah i had to download the other half of the series but um yeah if ever it comes out on dvd i'm gonna pounce on it uh on a non-superhero uh tangent uh another couple of dvds i got look this was this is random as hell but uh it's a movie called bed of roses with christian slater this was this movie that i remember seeing back in the 90s uh the only reason I saw it was because I was working in a cinema and I was just seeing absolutely everything because it was free um but I kind of dug this movie like it's a weird movie it is kind of like a you know romantic drama or something but the two characters in it are just really messed up like each of them have these severe issues and stuff I don't know it just sort of had this weirdness to it uh great soundtrack though as well it was yeah it was a memorable film so yeah, I don't know. I thought I'd give it a crack. Uh, and the other DVD that I got was Before Midnight, which is the third chapter in Richard Linklater's Before series, which was uh, Before Sunset, Before Sunrise. Hang on, did I get those two the right way around? No, I didn't. It was Before Sunrise, Before Sunset, and then Before Midnight, uh, which, yeah, I know these movies had a, have a lot of fans, uh, a lot of people talking about them lately on Twitter for some reason, and yeah, I really enjoyed this movie. I'm so glad I finally got around to concluding the series because uh yeah it had been a lot of years since i well since this has been out and since i'd seen them all righty and the very last ones i have saved for a new segment that i am calling movies i bought that are complete shit <laughs> um yeah the first one well admittedly look i didn't know this was going to be shit but um batman hush now this shouldn't have gone wrong. This was a fantastic comic series uh, when it came out, and I got really excited at the prospect of it becoming a, a you know feature-length animated movie. So yeah, I bought it the day it came out, and I was really happy. And I sat down to watch it, and they completely ruined the damn thing. If you know anything about the Hush story, basically the character who is the villain Hush, they've just completely changed that altogether, which is like the foundation of the story it's like the most important thing and they ruined it ah uh, <laughs> ah the banana splits movie wow so yeah if you've seen my review slash rant you'll know that this movie is the biggest festering boil on the face of 2019 movies for me um i thought it might be at least enjoyably trash so yeah i went and bought it and uh yeah it's 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 bad it's it's really bad uh, another movie which uh i will be doing a review of soon and uh this was um yeah a friend of mine uh, on social media who is a brilliant artist a guy who uh all i know him as is b.a zander i don't actually know this guy's name uh he recommended this movie jesus christ vampire hunter to me which uh i had to get the german version which is jesus christus vampire jaeger which sounds way more awesome uh yeah i just watched this movie uh, a couple of nights ago and um wow <laughs> this is this is something else uh unlike banana splits this is one of those movies though that is so freaking bad i loved it i love this movie so much and i cannot wait to talk about it uh two more movies to go so yeah another one which uh look i mean i gave this a really bad review recently uh the only reason i bought it was because a friend of mine really wanted to see it 
I wanted to see it in 3D and I just know one day when the MonsterVerse has got like lots of movies in it, I'm going to be really upset that I don't have Godzilla 2 in amongst the collection because, you know, you can't have a series with one chapter missing. Mm. Plus it was 20% off, so look, I thought, why not? And yeah, I rewatched it again recently. Uh, yeah, the 3D was good, but look, everything I said about it in my review still holds up. It is still a crap movie. Uh, I just couldn't get into it at all. And I know it's got its fans out there and I wish I was one of you, but yeah. Anyway, at least my MonsterVerse collection will be complete. And the very last movie I got, which was another movie which I gave a very lukewarm review to, uh, was Tomb Raider. But again, this is the 3D version. Um, so yeah, eh, I kind of thought, you know, maybe in 3D it might be a little more enjoyable, but yeah, funny thing is, after I watched this again, I went back to my review and watched it, and I was just like, dude, Everything you said about this movie is accurate. Yeah, because I know sometimes I do a review of a movie and I think, I wonder if I watch it, you know, later on down the track if I might think differently, but no. No, whoops. <laughs> no, it's okay, Bubby. It's just, a pile just fell over. It's, it's okay. Everything is fine. All right, so thank you very much for taking the time to watch this Blu-ray DVD update. Uh, yeah, and let me know if there's anything in there that you find particularly interesting, or if you guys have like bought some interesting stuff that I should know about, you're not gonna escape this time. No, I'm going to cuddle you and we can say goodbye to everybody. No, don't leave me. Ah, oh, she's done it again. So go right ahead, drop me some comments, either here, Facebook or Twitter. All the social media links are in the description below because I like to talk about movies and I would love to talk about movies with you. Catch you next time. Click subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest movie reviews. Skynet will be taking over any day now, so what have you got to lose? Nyaa!